Paul Belke, and I work at 95.5 WIFC. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Actually, I grew up in Wassa, and when I was 12, I always wanted to be on the radio. And crazy, the radio station I wanted to be on was WIFC. I think a lot of people think that I'm just on the radio when they hear me, and then they don't think I'm here anymore. They think I leave. Well, I'm on the radio from 2 to 6 in the afternoon, but on top of that, uh, I'm a music director which entails me scheduling the music every day, um, finding out what songs we want to play, what songs we don't want to play, if you want to request a song, if we play it or not. Uh, and then I'm also the assistant brand manager, so I have to deal with promotions, commercials, uh, there's all kinds of things that go into being working at a radio station other than just being on the radio. My name is Bernie Delaney. I have a professional title. It's Master Gardener Bernie Delaney. I am also a professional gardener and a broadcast journalist as well. Well, mostly I do radio, TV, and I write for a magazine. Uh, the name of the magazine is Senior Review. Uh, I got it, I'm not even sure if I got into TV or radio, which was first, because it was a long time ago. And, and they kind of seemed to, for me, they kind of seemed to go together. I'd say come down to a little radio station like this. It's worth its weight in gold, that's for sure. And get a little experience with uh, an experienced DJ like myself, like my sister Bobby Buds for Life, or my husband Dennis Delaney, or you know Professor Watchwell. That's his, that's his, <laughs> his uh, other name, you might say. And uh, get a little experience with that. Go to the the commercial radio stations and say. Could I ask you a few questions about when you're on the air and how did you get into it? My name is Dennis DeLaunay, but my radio slash celebrity name, that's in parentheses, is Professor Philip T. Watchwell. Years ago, um, I, uh, I got an FCC license because I did a little bit of engineering at uh, the University uh, radio station in Milwaukee years ago. But at that time, I was more just in the kind of like the technical end. And I wasn't really an on-air uh, on celebrity. Bernie and I, we started out in public access television. And it was the same thing that I described, is that you just start out, you know, being kind of cold. And then eventually, you know, you you bring it to life and then you figure out what works and what don't work.